Welcome back to the Amigos Garden. Gardener Ali here. I hope you're doing well. Last time we were together looking at the garden, we used our sense of sight to see how many different colors we could find in the garden. We were doing this to get a sense of what's alive in the garden. We looked at a lot of different plants and flowers. In addition to using our sense of sight, we're going to be naturalists in the garden by looking for changes. An important thing that all scientists look for, and especially naturalists look for, is change. How do plants change over time? How do animals change? We're going to look for some change in the garden today. So come along with me and let's see what we can find. The first thing I want to look at are these flowers. We looked at these last week. Though I think they were a different color. Do you remember the name of this flower? It's called a marigold. Does anyone know the Spanish name for this flower? In Spanish, we call this flower Sempasuchil. Last time we saw a yellow version of this flower. This one is mostly red and has a little bit of orange and yellow. So Let's see what kind of changes we can notice about this. I see the flower, and because I've been in the garden, I also know that this dry part right here used to be a flower. So over time, I saw the plant look from go from looking like this flower, and then it turned into something like this. Why do you think it changed that way? And how did that happen? I pulled off one of those dry pots so we could look at it up close. What do you think is inside? Should we open it up? When I open up the pot, this is what I find inside. Wow, there's all these little things. They feel pretty dry. See, they have a few different colors. Does anyone have a guess about what these are? I'll give you a hint. These will be important things to save. If you guessed seeds, you're right. These are the marigold or sempasuchu seeds. So if we save these over the winter, and plant them again next spring, we would grow new marigolds. Here's one more view of the marigold flowers and the seed pods, now that we know what they are. This is an example of a really big and important change that happens in the garden. Over time, and usually in the fall, the flower of a plant, the flower turns into seeds. Let's see if we can find some smaller changes, too. Over here, we have a few plants that you might recognize. I'm going to walk a little closer and see if you have any guesses about what this plant is. I see something big and round on the plant. Does anyone know? This is a tomato plant. What color do you see these tomatoes? I see green, but I also see a little bit of yellowy orange color. How do you think these tomatoes might change? If we come back in a week or in two weeks to look at these tomatoes, do you think they'll be the same color? Will they be a different color? What do you think? Here are some small plants growing in the garden. I planted some seeds a couple weeks ago, and this is what they look like now. My question for you is, how will this plant change? If we come back and look at it in one week or two weeks, will it look the same? Will it look different? How do you think it will change? Do you think it might get bigger? Will it get smaller? Will the color change? 
What do you think? Here's another plant in the garden that we looked at last time. Does anyone remember the name of this plant? This plant is called basil. My question for you is, do you think these flowers will look the same in a week, in two weeks? Do you think the flowers will look different? How will they change? Here's a plant that has some nice yellow flowers, but I'm not as interested in the flowers right now. There's something closer up that I want you to take a look at with me. What do you see happening here? We have a flower, an old flower, and there's a few different insects on it. What kind of insect do you see? How do you think this flower might look different next week? Do you think the insects might eat the flower? Will the insects still be here next week? What changes will happen? Thanks so much for joining me to look for changes. Next time, we'll check back on all those different things we looked at. The marigold and the marigold seeds, the tomatoes, we'll see if they changed color or size. We'll look at those small leaves and see if they changed at all. And we'll check back up on our insects on the flowers to see what happened there. And the basil, don't forget the basil. I wonder if you can notice any changes happening in nature around you. I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.